Did you know that right now there are over 2 billion Playmobil figures being played with around the world by kids of all ages? That's almost a third of the world's population, and that number grows larger every day. That's the world of Playmobil. At home in nearly every country around the globe, Playmobil brings imagination to life. As for the production, Made in Europe guarantees a focus on safety. Believe it or not, it takes a long time to bring some of your favorite Playmobil characters to life. And kids like you play a huge role in the development process. That's one of the reasons kids love Playmobil. They actually help design the toys. We listen to children's ideas, develop them to make sure they are safe, and then put this information into a computer where they can be designed. Just check out this new fire rescue set. It's a long way from being finished, but now the construction people will make a whole lot more of them. After everything is put together, the toy is now ready to be tested. There are a lot of different tests we use on every toy. Let's see some of them. The first thing to be tested is whether or not there are small parts which can cause choking. Regular Playmobil products have lots of small parts so they can do all the things that kids love. So, our packaging always says small parts, not for children under three years of age. But for toddlers under three, there is Playmobil 123, made especially for younger kids. The pieces in the 123 line are larger and have less moving parts. The next test is the drop test. Here we drop the fire rescue truck from a height of more than three feet. Let's check it out in slow motion. Everything is okay. Nothing is broken and the few parts that have fallen off can be put right back on. The pulling test checks what happens when the toy is stretched, kind of like when you play tug of war. This machine pulls the toy really hard to see if it can take it without breaking. This is done several times and once this is over, we want to see how durable it is. A heavy weight is dropped on the toy. Slow motion shows us what happens. Wow, that would have definitely hurt. But the new Playmobil toy is just fine. Since the fire rescue truck uses batteries, it needs to pass a lot of other tests before it can go and actually put out a fire. And because of the remote control it has, it needs some extra testing so someone doesn't accidentally open the garage door or change the TV station when you press it. Also, several chemical tests make sure all of our toys are safe and free from anything harmful. But even with all of this testing, nothing can replace parent supervision. Playmobil is made of lots of tiny pieces of plastic known as plastic granulate. 17,000 tons of this material is processed every year. That's the equivalent of about 600 rail cars. Next, fasten your seatbelts and let's take a plane trip to Malta where the factory that makes all of the Playmobil figures is located. Now there's a lot going on here. Watch how the heated material is pressed into the mold by the machine and then pushed out once it is cooled. In slow motion, we filmed the last part, making the Playmobil heads. Some of the parts are printed before they are assembled. Many of these steps here are carried out by real robots. This fully automated process is how the famous Playmobil figures are built. You may recognize some of these from your own collection. About 100 million figures leave the factory on the island every year. Back in Germany, where Playmobil's primary facility is located, this is where everything comes together. A look into the production areas again reveals countless injection molding machines working practically around the clock. The larger the Playmobil pieces, the larger the molds and the machines. Now let's take a closer look here. To the left is the injection mold and to the right, the injection unit. The raw material, the plastic granulate we talked about, is mixed together with color pigments and then placed in a heated plasticizing cylinder. Heating elements melt the material while a reciprocating screw compresses it. The injection unit docks onto the mold once the required amount is ready. A nozzle injects the viscous melted material into the negative body mold and fills all of the empty spaces. It is cooled immediately and the plastic hardens once again. 
the mold opens and pushes out a component for the new fire rescue truck, which is carried further by a robot. Other tests are also being done. For example, this shows how long a Playmobil product could last after someone buys it. Around eight days in here is like a whole summer outdoors. The colors may change a little over time, but the Playmobil toy will always stay together. Last but not least, everything is packaged in boxes and ready to go to our warehouse and then to a store near you. If something is ever missing, broken, or lost, Playmobil's customer service department will always take care of it. Playmobil wants kids to be happy. Long-lasting playtime fun with high-quality, safe products. This is what owner Horst Braunstotter and his staff of over 3,000 employees stands for. With Playmobil, children can reenact their own experiences, create new games, and by using their imagination, come to understand the world through playtime fun.